Talk to us about what this partnership with Ford means for their EV production. Well, great to be here. And um, yeah, this is a, an exciting announcement for us and, and for Ford as well, I think. Uh, you know, Redwood was founded, you know, to, to create the circular supply chain and, and create uh, the technologies and processes uh, in order to recycle batteries, but also to remanufacture them, keeping the materials, you know, in uh, country here in North America, where, where they were initially purchased, um, and then finding ways to reintroduce those directly into the battery supply chain. So for Ford, you know, we're, you know, aiming to do exactly that. And, you know, this really supports the, the same mission we've started the company with. Um, you know, for them, it's a way to both reduce the environmental impact of the batteries that they will make on, on day one uh, and the vehicles as well. Uh, you know, but it also assures, you know, a good solution for end of life when those vehicles eventually need to come off the road. And on top of all that, you know, we can find ways, you know, by recycling them, recovering the materials, you know, to reduce the need for, for new mining or reduce the need somewhat for uh, imported uh, critical raw materials. So does that mean we could eliminate our reliance on lithium mined from countries like Africa and China, where a lot of it comes from today? Well, in the long term, you know, future, I, I'm confident we will be able to eventually, you know, eliminate the reliance on, on those mined materials. You know, batteries are amazing in that they don't consume the materials that are inside of them. They, they sort of carry them around for their lifetime and then they can be recovered uh, almost entirely and essentially infinitely recycled. So, you know, we need those raw materials in the period where we're building up the fleet the first time and, and expanding production, which will still be happening for quite a few years. But once the fleet starts to stabilize, um, we can reach a period where it, it's really self-sufficient. Will this also make EV batteries cheaper and ultimately EV cars? That's a, it's a great point. And, you know, one of the, the big reasons in addition to sustainability uh, to focus on, on recycling and remanufacturing materials is cost. Um, you know, even today at a relatively small scale, you know, it is profitable and, and lower cost to recover and recycle these materials from an old battery than it is to mine them, refine them and transport them around the world um, as brand new materials. So e each year that goes by is we have higher and higher recycled material content in the batteries and in the, the cars that, that use them. Um, and we will be able to, you know, incrementally drive down the cost of those materials. And I'm pretty optimistic that that can be a, a very big factor uh, in the years and decades to come on, on helping uh, expand electrification and hit some of these, you know, really ambitious and exciting targets these companies have. You recently announced you want to bring $25 billion of the battery supply chain from Asia to the U.S. with a new mega battery factory. What would this mean for the future of battery manufacturing and, of course, the price here in the United States? Well, it's, it's interesting that, you know, the United States and North America generally does not have a supply chain, you know, today for the raw materials and all the components that go into batteries. You know, we're beginning to, to industrialize battery assembly um, and beginning to, of course, ramp electric vehicle assembly from, from many different OEMs. But that supply chain upstream of that doesn't exist uh, here today. And, you know, that's what we announced last week was, uh, you know, uh, I think a pretty rapid and, and focused effort to uh, industrialize and, and start making those raw materials, those components, um, anode copper foil and, you know, cathode active material being the the two strategic things we're focusing on first, building those components here in North America so that, you know, we can begin to diversify our, our really total reliance uh, on Asia okay. uh, for those materials.